Hi everybody, it is 1.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, September 2nd. Dorian, those who have left comments about Nassau being south of the hurricane, you are right, and I was wrong. Here is a live, uh, this is on YouTube, I will link below to everything. It's live of, of Dorian. So uh, Dorian now apparently has made landfall on the eastern edge of Grand Bahama. To the person who left the comment saying, I know nothing about the Bahamas, you were right. You were right. All I've been hearing is the Bahamas, the Bahamas, the Bahamas. Well, I thought it was the Bahamas. Um, this is Nassau. This is the Bahamas. And this is where the supposed eye hit. So, yes, you were right. I was wrong. But look at the tracking. Now, the Bahamas and uh, Nassau is underneath the name Bahamas. It should, and this is live tracking, it should be getting an awful lot of rain and some wind and uh, it's a storm, right? Well, It did get a storm earlier. Well, can't even say this is this is current time live NASA and here. Okay, so when I said that NASA should have been wiped off the map, uh, I was wrong. But there's still something wrong with this picture when you see this kind of, well, the red means it should be getting torrential downpours, and it's not. Now it did have, you know, some rain and that lightning that we see that, well, just kind of goes off across, lights up the sky. This is the kind of you know, actually, this is rather, um, this is a weak storm that they had in NASA. It did get some heavy winds for, you know, a little bit of time, but then they died down, and it got rain, and then it was over. Okay, well, guess what? torrential downpour right now and we're not seeing it All right. um, I need to make something clear I guess again those who left comments clearly they upset telling me to shut up and uh, that this is a monster hurricane and I guess they thinking that I was saying in my last post that nothing was happening in the Bahamas. That is not what I said. I certainly said once, but I may have said several times in that video. It does not mean that they're not bringing about an awful lot of destruction, but the Category 5 hurricane was nonsense, and I still believe it is nonsense. What they are saying about this ha um, hurricane, it's a category five, well, it gives them plausible deniability. When you see the kind of destruction that took place in the Bahamas, well, in the Bahamas that are north of the Bahamas. And no, I didn't know that all of these islands are the Bahamas 
I thought it was the Bahamas. All right. Um, so, I do believe that what took place in this area, you know, Great Abaco, I'm not even sure if I pronounced that right, um, El Bouquet, was really bad. <laughs> and I don't, that was not a laugh of, haha, it was the devastation that was brought about. I absolutely do believe is real. I, I got comments from people who have family and friends there and they haven't heard from them. Yes, I, I am so, look, I've been posting on this destruction that they are bringing about uh, via weapons, weather weapons, for a very long time. I am still upset that all of what was going on and still is going on, people losing their life via flash flooding, so many of our fellow Americans have had their homes destroyed throughout 2019, oh yeah, and 2018, right, and oh, 2017, 2016, 2015, 2014, on, on, on. Okay. Um, but what was very clear, 2019, that mainstream media, you could hear crickets. So Americans are dying from these flash floods or tornadoes, losing their homes, high winds, and they were, well, somewhere 110 miles per hour. That's hurricane winds on land. The weather just mm, coming out of nowhere. Um, the hail, baseball size. Just the hell alone caused a lot of destruction. But we hardly heard a word about it. But a hurricane, ah, everybody's on it, right? And category five, Trump cancels trip to Poland, attends FEMA meeting, mainstream media 24-7, it goes on and on and on, but we hear nothing about all of those who have lost their loved ones, lost their farms, lost their homes, and it was ongoing. And yes, it, I'm upset that all of those, all of those people kind of suffer in silence while this hurricane gets enormous coverage. I'm not saying that those who have been destroyed don't deserve the coverage, but where the hell was the coverage for all of those who have suffered the consequences of this very scary weaponry that Trump spoke about when interviewed about his uncle, John Trump, who reviewed Tesla's papers. So please get, I am not saying that things are just fine here. I am saying that what we are hearing is a lie. It's a lie. Now, why did I uh, mark this area? Green Turtle K because I was sent this picture, September 1, 1.52 a.m. What is this line? Green Turtle Bay, K. Um, it's on this site, uh, Bengal House. 
this picture, are we looking at a laser beam that was picked up? I don't know, but it sure is nicely defined. So this comes about just before 2 a.m. and well, you had a lot of uh, a lot of destruction going on. I mean, Green Turtle Bay is probably right around here. Okay. Um, listen, guys, when you are correcting me about something, you don't have to be mean and nasty. Um, the truth actually is more important than my ego. So when I get things wrong, I have no problem saying I was wrong. But something is still wrong here because NASA, I mean NASA, um, it shouldn't be looking like this now. This is live. So, all right. Um, I don't know what to make of this. I was sent this by, uh, or a uh, subscriber linked to this video, FEMA invades Florida ahead of Dorian. You can click on the link below and watch it and listen. FEMA invades Florida ahead of Dorian. I don't know. There's no link uh, to this article. I don't know the site. It says by Truth Seeker, is this the full page of the website? I don't know. Um, it might be, but well, all of the information is coming from a source. And I don't know how to confirm, verify a source. So what you hear here, residents and the homeless of Florida should fear FEMA more than Dorian. Uh, says an agency employee familiar with Operation Storm Surge, a FEMA initiative to intimidate, incarcerate, capture, and kill disaster-stricken people in the Sunshine State. According to our source, the corrupt agency canceled holiday leave for 800 special tactics employees and dispatched them along the Florida coast in advance of the storm. Uh, FEMA's assets in Florida include eight sniper response teams, the same that were at the Louisiana Superdome during Katrina in 2005. It's an elite force. Uh, I don't know what to say about this because I don't have any, um, I know that a lot of people, they leave comments saying this is happening, that's happening, but we don't know because they, they leave no links, no evidence, no um, nameable source. That's why, you know, yes, I understand that people are scared to, uh, come out and state publicly, you know, things that are going on. But when you have this kind of information, you do need a source. You need a name, you need something. Because this is pretty, well, horrifying, but we don't know if it's really actually occurring. So that's, that's all I can say about that. I also want to show you that here. All right, so Weather Channel. This was posted about an hour and a half ago. They have NASA. Hurricane warning for NASA. Well, that seems a little odd. Um, and 
Wind gusts over 200 miles per hour possible in parts of the northwestern Bahamas. Um, here they have, again, midnight, the tracking NASA. Well, nothing was happening at midnight in NASA. So that's why uh, a lot of us question what the hell is going on. No, I do not believe it was a monster hurricane. No, I do not believe that it is a Category 5. That gives them plausible deniability as they use their weapons to create this kind of destruction. But that does not mean that that dampens my concern about everybody who's being destroyed. Not at all. Um, here, the National Buoy Center. The only buoy that they have here, and this is pretty, this is at the tip of um, Freeport. Freeport City, it's right at the tip. And, well, Hurricane Dorian has, let me refresh just to see if it's moving a little closer. Okay. Yeah, they got it on the eastern edge of uh, Grand Bahama. Okay. Well, how big is this thing? Um, they have the... Wow. So, this tracking, 1 a.m., Category 5, So, yeah, okay, this is where it's at now, right where the five stops. You would think that there would be pretty heavy winds, not the 220 mile per hour gusts, 180 miles per hour. But, well, winds that were a little bit more than 40 knots, 47 knots, that's the gust. 40 knots is 46 miles per hour, okay? That uh, seems a little odd, too, don't you think? I hope you say yes. Um, and windy. You know, people were questioning windy. Well, I question everything. But I did go to the tip of Freeport where that um, buoy is. And, well, it says 40 knots. And Wendy says 36 knots, but again, I'm not right on the buoy. Um, so one could one could think that Wendy is somewhat accurate. 15 knots, 33 knots, 30 knots, 16 knots. 37 knots, 43 knots, 56 knots, but we still don't have a hurricane. We've got a tropical storm. 66, what's 66? Let's just do 66, six. 75, ah, category one, category one. Okay, and a category one, well, 
I also went to marine traffic. Now, this is not a site that I generally uh, play around with. Oh, wow. Our ship. Where'd our ship go? There was a ship here. Right here. Just a little bit ago. And it was not um, traveling at great speed, so where did that go? Huh. Well, I guess they got rid of it. Interesting, but there was a ship right here. And I thought that was pretty odd. And it was a ship that was uh, moving. And I'll try to find uh, the video. Hang on. Well, here's the little bugger. Okay. Um, underway using engine. 15 knots. And... Let's click off that. There it is. So, I guess they removed this guy. Hmm. And it was just, you know, boating its way right, very right smack in the outer bands of the hurricane. That doesn't really seem... Well, plausible. All right. So, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Well, maybe, maybe it just got, you know, slammed by those winds. But it's disappeared because none of these are magpie. Okay. Um, I also want to show you this. 3 p.m., Hurricane Dorian, update with Craig Setzer, Miami. Okay, watch. Gets the tip of the Bahamas and Nassau. Oh, and do check out the very defined uh, section of Dorian right up here. Okay, so at 3 p.m., Nassau should have been seeing some action from Dorian. Pretty heavy rainfall. Some winds. Okay. Well, it didn't. It didn't. Um, let's go back several hours. So, it's... Wow, it's two. All right. Uh... So, say about 11 hours. This was NASA. It's breezy. But, you know, if you watch this, you see people just walking along the beach. some point. Yeah, and they have some, you know, rain spots on the camera. But, that's it. Now, nah, it clears up and all day long, they had a rather nice day. Until nighttime when they did get also want to show you radar. Now, a lot of people are saying that the radar cuts off because there's only one radar station that would pick up Hurricane Dorian, and that's Miami, and it only extends 150 miles. All right. Well, 
why then do we see on this next rad site why is radar picking up hurricane dorian here because this goes further than 150 miles and uh, on radar here again we see what appear to be the outer bands of Dorian. All right. This, all of the information that I've showed you, that others show you, leave a whole lot of questions. We have a whole lot of questions about every event that takes place now. So you really don't have to leave those nasty comments. Um, it's, you know, and the Bahamas have their own radar. Now, whether or not it's active, I don't know. But look at the extent of radar that we've got in our country. Do you think all of this radar is necessary to track planes? Oh, and to give us precise forecasting on the weather. No, this is used for mind control, weather control, surveillance, all over. So, radar, we've got an awful lot of radar that extends out to, um, well, where Dorian is right now. Whether these sites, I guess Nexrad site picks it up and College of DuPage doesn't, I don't know. But, um, yes, there are a lot of questions. Again, to all of you who have family and friends in this area, I can imagine that you are not feeling very well right now. And I hope that you hear from all of your family and friends soon. I hope that they are okay. Um, destruction can be brought about very quickly from the technology that man is using to create these events. But it's important to point out the lies because you don't want to give them plausible deniability. They are using weather as a weapon and we are at war. That is a fact and they are bringing about an awful lot of destruction. Think of weather as a bomb. Anyway, guys, all links are below.